where your focus needs to be to get more sales now are you just starting out or are you already selling online and you really need to know what do I focus on what are the main things I need to do to increase my sales well you're gonna love this video because in this video I'm gonna tell you the exact things that you need to focus on to get more sales and we're starting right now Hey, I'm JR Fisher if you're new to my channel do me a favor hit that subscribe button down there if you hit that subscribe button well you'll be subscribed but you won't be notified so you gotta ring the bell ring that bell which is right next to the subscribe button make sure you turn on all notifications you'll be part of the VIP Club the Fisher family that gets notified before anybody else when I do one of these videos now I've been selling online since 2009 and I've sold millions of dollars of both physical and digital products and I've learned stuff along the way right so what I do on this channel is I actually share with you how to start run and grow your online business too now I'd love to see your comments below what are are you focusing on right now what have you found that is working for you or what is it you're concerned about what what is it that you think that you want to know about a little bit more so you know what to focus on put those comments below I'd love to see them and don't forget give me a thumbs up like the video that would be really helpful I would really appreciate that now I've been selling online for a long time and we've sold millions of dollars of products matter of fact my products are sold on thousands of websites including Walmart so I've got a little background and I can actually share with you guys what we've done to get all those sales let's jump right into it but before we do before we do I have a course a $97 course that's free to you that's right it's free it's down in the description all you have to do is click the link and learn no credit card required no PayPal none of that stuff just click the link and learn so let's get going now fortunately there really are dozens and dozens of ways to make more sales online so in this video what I want to do is go through some of them so that you have an arsenal of different things that you can do and you know what to focus on and what to stay away from so let's jump into them okay here's the big one please 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 be honest in your ad copy don't make up stuff don't say stuff that's not true don't make any promises and a lot of these platforms if you do that like a Facebook or YouTube or something like that if you promise things to people that you don't even know such as you'll lose 10 pounds in 10 days you will get banned I mean it's just gonna happen you can't make promises you want to be honest about whatever the product is that you're selling number two get more ad clicks with ad extensions if you're selling stuff online ad Ad extensions are a no-brainer this feature available in both AdWords and Bing allows you to make your ad bigger and more places to click it doesn't cost anything extra and it increases your ads click-through rate amazing stuff right in the example you see on the screen right now the links to men's sunglasses and women's sunglasses give people who are looking to buy a pair of Ray-Bans two additional places to click this saves the potential customer a step and makes it easier and faster or to find exactly what they want so they go to your site instead of a competitors show off testimonials testimonials are awesome that's number three if you can get testimonials you want to publish those on your site they're so so important now don't make up testimonials of course have real testimonials but how do you get them most people are not going to give you a testimonial right off the bat you got to ask for them what I've done is I've sent out emails before to maybe friends who have done business with me I've sent out emails to my list who bought products and I say hey if you do a testimonial if you write one if you do a video whatever we'll enter you in a contest and do some type of giveaway but you've got to motivate them to do these testimonials they're not going to do it on their own create a sense of urgency now it's important to be honest of course but if you can instill any type of urgency into your ad or your ad copy or your sales page or your video it's best to do it it does increase sales many consumers respond really positive to incentives that you put in your particular ad so if you notice at the top of this image right here it says save ten dollars on your initial order so doing something like this can really help you out and really increase sales and drive higher purchases in AdWords you can use ad customizers to display a countdown on a seasonal offer or limited time sale however you choose to do it creating a sense of urgency is a great way to increase online sales number five have a bulletproof money back 
guaranteed now we have this on some of our products and some of our products we don't so let me explain to you how you want to look at this if you have a physical product I would almost always say that you have to have a bulletproof guarantee so we sell survival food and we don't want anybody saying anything bad about our survival food obviously and people like it and we really don't have any problems but we do have that guarantee that if they buy our food and they don't like it for any reason or it's damaged or whatever it is we're gonna replace it we don't argue with that at all now I don't do that with every one of my courses because if I sell a course to somebody and they get the course and they go through the whole course and record it at home and then want their money back there are people out there that will do stuff like that so we do have money-back guarantees on the courses but we require that they actually go through the course they actually do the things the course says because we know if they go through it and they do the things the course says they're actually gonna get results so you want to look at your product which of your products you're gonna have a absolute guarantee on in which product you may have some qualifications on number six is offer fewer choices now most people would think well you know you if you offer them a whole lot of stuff then you, you have a better chance of selling a whole lot of stuff you don't as a matter of fact if you're running an ad and you're running it to a product that you're selling that should be the only product on the page now you may have um, discounts for multiples of that product so maybe if they buy one case of our meat it's a certain price if they buy five cases it's a lower price and they buy ten cases it's an even lower price but you don't want to have four five six different products on there and I see this all the time and people aren't getting conversions and it's because they went to the page and once they have all these choices they tend to put it off they go well I could buy this or I could buy this I'll just wait and I'll come back to it and then they never do so it's really important that you are going to increase your sales if you have fewer choices number seven you can target look-alike audiences on Facebook this is awesome you can actually take people who have bought from you or people who have been to your page you can upload them to Facebook and Facebook will create a look-alike audience in other words they go out there and try to find people that have the same traits as those people that you've uploaded and they can find you an audience of two or three million people that are similar to the people that already bought from you now the only caveat is if it's a sale you have to have at least a hundred people for one country so you'd have to have a hundred people for the United States if you did want to do a look-alike audience now the more you have the better off you are if you have a thousand that look-alike audience is gonna be better if you have 10,000 that look-alike audience is gonna be better so as you do these look-alike audiences you want to constantly update them to match your sales or your visitors number eight reduce friction at checkout now what does that mean that means that when they get to that checkout form it should be really super easy they shouldn't have to check a whole lot of boxes they shouldn't have to fill out a whole lot of things sometimes we'll do it in steps where you know if they say they want the product they click the product when they do their information box will pop open and when they fill that out and that's completed the delivery box will pop open but you want to make it as smooth as possible if you make them click a lot if you make them go to a lot of places if you make them read a lot it's gonna hurt your sales number nine now this goes against one of the other things I said because we said we don't want a lot of options but this one we want a lot of options allow a lot of payment options okay that's really super important so accept every single credit card there is out there except PayPal out there except any type of form of payment that you can because the more that you accept the more you're gonna open up your audience because you don't know how that particular customer is paying so if you have a lot of options available that way you don't lose any customers number 10 invest in quality product images now this is so important because I know a lot of you are selling from Aliexpress you have Shopify stores you're doing drop shipping and you say well I, I, I don't have the product JR I can't take pictures of this product because I don't have it well that's a problem right there because if you don't have it and you're selling it that means you don't even know if it's a good product you haven't ordered it it's really simple go to Aliexpress and when you're thinking about selling products order the products that you're thinking about selling and you say well I don't want to spend a dollar or two dollars and we don't know anything. you got to this is something you got to do because if you don't do this yeah you know a lot of you say well I'll, I'll buy the product if it sells and then I'll take pictures but the problem is you need the picture first to be able to try to sell the product so you can't do it backwards it's really super important that you've got that product first and you take a picture of it it is an investment but you know what having an online business you've got to invest in it you've got to invest time you've got to invest money you've got to invest effort if you don't do these things then of course you're not gonna do well now I recently did pictures of our survival foods 
foods and we hired a photographer and he came over there and he took pictures on plates of all of our food we took them out of the can we didn't take pictures of the cans because the cans aren't going to sell much we actually put them on a plate and we put parsley on there and we made it look all good and delicious because when they go to the website that's what they're buying they're buying the meat they're not buying a can they don't want a can they want that meat and we sell survival food canned meat and if I say that survival food canned meat that doesn't sound appetizing but if I put it on the plate and make it look good it, it does taste great but I have to present it in a manner that they're used to seeing it so the product image thing I really can't beat that enough okay I mean that is so so important that you have good images no matter what you're selling you know if you're selling a course even a course like I sell courses we have pictures of the course and it, it maybe it's on CDs and maybe it's on little booklets or maybe it's showing on their iPad or whatever it is we show them the actual course in a visual and I would highly suggest you doing that too number 11 get rid of your landing pages what get rid of your landing page that's crazy well it is and it isn't here's the truth right now most people are viewing your landing pages on mobile devices and if you don't have them set to mobile so that they can see things in mobile then you're gonna have a problem so if you have the traditional landing page that is not designed for mobile you've got a problem now I can tell you how to fix that right now the simplest way to fix it is get Kartra I have a link to Kartra in the description right now if you click that link you can actually get a trial for one dollar but more importantly if you click that link you can watch a free video that shows you what it'll do but in Kartra when you're building your pages you can switch it over to mobile you can see how it looks and you can view it in there on mobile so that it matches and the next step to this is really getting rid of your landing pages you can run ads through Facebook now that are call only ads where the ad actually doesn't even go to your page any longer it just pops up on their phone and a phone number pops up and they hit it and they can actually call your business if you're in the type of business where you want a customer to call so think of everybody viewing all your pages on mobile and you'll get rid of your landing pages or at least the traditional way to do them number 12 give gmail ads a try now for years these things weren't easy to use and they were in and out of beta constantly but gmail ads are finally available to everybody they're really cool ads and anybody can do them now if you're already reaching customers when they search and when they browse on social why not go the extra mile and hit them while they're in their inboxes too one of the most effective ways to use Gmail ads is by targeting competitor keywords people who are in the market for your competitors products are getting emails from your competitors that may mention their brand terms right now so by targeting those same terms you can show up in their inboxes and hopefully change their their minds and have them buy your product okay so that is 12 steps you can take but I've got 13 more this is video one in a two-part series so you're gonna want to click to the next video I'll have the next video in the description down there you can click through to it and watch the second part thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed so far please do so there's a oh my god they put a huge subscribe button down there they put it there for a reason you gotta click it and next to it don't forget notifications you got to ring the bell you got to make that bell as loud as you possibly can now the harder you click it the louder it's gonna be and if you like loud bells click it hard and if you don't click it very softly and then after you do that make sure you turn on all notifications so you can become part of the Fisher family part of the VIP group that gets notified every single time I do one of these videos and I've got a gift for you like I said there's a $97 e-commerce course if you look down in the description you click that link you can and click and learn no credit card required it's free check it out and I'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel